Stand for Steve. We don't call you that for nothing. Let's play a little bit of quarterback stock up, stock down, if you will. Give me a quarterback who's played his way uh, into better company. Yeah, we just talked about the Clemson game last week, and I look at the guy who unfortunately took the loss in that game, and that's Sam Hartman of Wake Forest. I thought he was spectacular against Clemson, knowing what Clemson brings to the table from a front four standpoint. And just coming into this season, you know, the injury, missing a lot of camp, not knowing how he was going to look to start this season. He was fantastic last week. Six touchdowns, 20 to 29, uh, you know, throwing the ball. So I think another big spot is Roddy touchdown going to Tallahassee this week. But my stock is up on Sam Hartman for sure. Steve, I completely agree with you on Sam Hartman, especially with the way that the season started with the medical scare. It's been great to see him yep. back. Uh, but I'm going to go with Michael Penix Jr. The transfer from Indiana goes to Washington. Mm. This is a guy that now leads the nation in pass yards, leads the Pac-12 in touchdown passes. And Kalen DeBoer has had great quarterback play for the last few years. Jake Hayner at, at Fresno State. Now he's come over to Washington with Michael Penix. And, and Penix has just been absolutely fantastic. It feels like this offense fits him like a glove. He's been accurate at all three levels. So Michael Penix definitely stock up this season. I know we played just four games, but those statistics are still pretty strong for Michael Penix. All right, there's two sides to every coin, Steve. <laughs> a quarterback whose stock is down temporarily, we hope. Yeah, if we were going to draft the quarterbacks in the ACC before the season, I was going to take Brendan Armstrong of, of Virginia. I just love what he brought to the table last year. Threw for 31 touchdowns and 10 picks. And this year, Tony Ellett's system comes in, just doesn't look comfortable, and the accuracy is what bothers me. He's only completing about 52% of his passes, three touchdowns, four interceptions, brought his team back last week against undefeated Syracuse, but just couldn't pull it off at the end. I expect him to get better, but right now, Armstrong is the stock down for me. I'm going to stay in the ACC and go down to Miami. Tyler Van Dyke was a guy that was getting first-round hype a year ago. Got benched in the middle of the third quarter against Middle Tennessee. Uh, he has looked uncomfortable in this new Josh Gaddis offense, out of sync with his receivers. So Tyler Van Dyke is a guy with all the talent in the world, but just has not looked comfortable with this new look under Mario Cristobal and Josh Gaddis this season. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.